and welcome back to Really Re TV. A few little bits I should say first. I'm so sorry that I haven't done any videos for like forever. To cut a long story short, my dad was really sick. I have written a blog post about it just explaining why things have been unusual, so I'll link to that below. But thank you so much for your patience and I really hope you enjoy this video. I've got some nice new product launches to talk about. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet because things are still a bit crazy around here. But I want to make sure that I'm doing weekly videos again for you, so please keep watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with bum, 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 Tom Ford. As always, you know, it's my happy place. The exciting news, very exciting news, is that Lips and Boys are back. Mm, and how cute, I love these. I've got three others, but these are two new ones. Dempsey and Alex, which are two of the new shades, so just quickly explain. So there used to be 50 limited edition Lips and Boys shades, they're the miniature size lipsticks. The good news is Lips and Boys are coming back as a permanent fixture. Yes. And it's I mean, just amazing. So amazing. Particularly for someone like me that very rarely finishes a lipstick. These minis are just amazingly perfect. Anyway, so now they're bringing 25 of the original lineup back of the 50. They'll be permanent colours. I haven't got the details of which ones they'll be just yet, but I will soon and we'll keep you updated. And then there's going to be 25 new boys. We like that, don't we? This is Alex. Meet Alex. Oh yeah. Really nice, vivid, pinky shade. Yeah. Like you, Alex. And then... Oh, they're so cute, I love them. We have got Dempsey. Oh, who's a beautiful peachy, corally shade with maybe a tiny bit of gold shimmer in there. Very pretty indeed. If you can see that. I'm going to get these on the blog very soon, so I shall link to the post below. I've got a blog post already just explaining all the lips and boys business, so that's exciting. The other thing I've got to show you, I mean, there's really, there's a lot of beautiful new Tom Ford stuff for the holiday collection. I've got a blog post all about it because I took lots of pictures at the launch events. I'm going to link to that below for you as well. But Tom Ford Black Orchid has now been introduced as an Eau de Toilette EDT. And the bottle is amazing because it's a matte bottle. So it's the same kind of Black Orchid style in matte. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Oh, I love it. I think I might even like it better than the Eau de Parfum. It's so, I mean, it still packs a punch. don't think it's a wishy-washy EDT. One little spritz and, you know, you are fragranced. And it's such a beautiful scent. It's so lovely. And I, every time I've worn it, I've got compliments, which you don't always these days because there's so many lovely fragrances around. I think people just expect you to smell good. But this one gets people talking, so that's really exciting. So those are like October, November launches, so quite a sneak peek and even more exciting because of it. Uh, moving on, Too Faced Love Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette with 15 shades. I have written about this and swatched all the shades for you, so I'm going to link to that post below because you can get a good look at the colours. But I'm going to show you now, it's such a gorgeous palette. I mean, it's a tiny bit on the chunky side, but I don't care about that. Beautiful packaging as always with Too Faced. Look, it's so, so pretty. I just love it. There's like three families of colour. We've got Pure Love, True Love, and then Forbidden Love. Pure Love's my favourite one. It's just gorgeous, loving that. In true Too Faced style, they've got some little cards here to help you for your eye makeup, which is great because I can't do eye makeup, rubbish at eye makeup, so. There you go, that's their little bit of helps and hints. You can pull them out, tell you how to use each of the different colours, the colourways. You can mix them up as well. This black eyeliner, incredible. It's a waterproof one, really good. So I'll link to the post on that below. What else can I show you? I know, do a quick bit of Kiko. Love, 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 loving these. The new collection is called Rebel Romantic. And you know what? I think it's my favourite Kiko collection because it's really subtle and sophisticated. And it's like a kind of a grown up Kiko collection. The other collections, which I have loved, I've been sometimes a bit bright and a bit leery, and I like things to look a bit more toned down and sophisticated, and I like a bit of rose gold. I think 
I think I'm with many of you. And so just as an example, I've got a full blog post about lots and lots of the Rebel Romantic collection, but we've got like a little highlighter and contour duo. So these are really cute pencils. They're pink pencils with a rose gold um, base and lid, really pretty. There's your highlight, which is a nice matte, sorry about the card outside. It's a nice matte shade, so you can do all your higher areas with this. I mean, it's quite a nice one to do before foundation if you just want to kind of blend in with foundation. And then you've got your bronzing shade there, which you can kind of sculpt out some cheekbones, you know, a bit of, bring your forehead in a bit, you know, sculpt out a bit of the jawline. We like doing that. And, and then you can just blend it all in. It's really nice, they're creamy, they're matte. They blend easily. I, I, I'm a, I've got a big, big, what have I got? A big, big what? Love for these, really like them. I think they're just nice, they're really good, well priced, so I think they're about like nine quid for these. So, and they are easier to use than the Clinique Chubbies because, you know, they're more, they're smaller, so you can get in there and, you know, more precision. They blend really well, and probably could compare them to the Smashbox ones, except for there's three shades in the Smashbox, but this is simpler. And works as well, I think. So yeah, really lovely. And the other Kiko thing I really like is the eyes potion. Perfect if you are looking to do that strobing thing that everyone's like raving on about, and for good reason because it's gorgeous. Yeah, so it's it's actually for like an eye contour highlight perfecting serum type thing. You know, it's got a nice bit of glow in there, well, quite a lot of glow. I don't know if you can see that there, it's beautiful. It's got skincare properties in it as well. I've got a post about this, so I'm going to link to that below so you can read about it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. You can prep and prime the skin with this before foundation for extra glow. So like, you can do it around there. You know, you could, it's really nice on the Cupid's bow as well, actually, even though it's an eye serum, but lips and eyes always go well together. You know, you can tap it on after makeup. Please don't let me ruin my makeup. Check with love. Yeah, you can tap it on after makeup for like extra sheen on the cheekbones. It's lovely. Really, really like that. So Kiko still happy with. In fact, even more happy. Other thing I'm really loving is this new launch from SK2. So this is the like sprayable version of their face essence, which is like a hydrating, anti-aging, gorgeous, you know, defending from free radicals, antioxidant amazingness. This, apparently, is it, the particles are so fine that they're like a quarter of the size of a visible skin pore and it can penetrate through makeup and basically keep your skin hydrated. You, use it, you can use it four or five times a day on top of makeup and it will kind of keep you hydrated, give you a skin a boost. If you know when you get, when you've been out for a while and your face just looks a bit taut and dry, this will do it and it's so fine, it's gorgeous it doesn't, and it doesn't mess up your makeup, it just will work through it, which is incredible. Mm. And I just love it, I love it. It's best not to eat it, but it kind of just gives my skin a real nice glow, it clumps it up and I've been using it for nearly a couple of weeks and I definitely think my skin is more hydrated, so I've got a blog post about that as well, which I shall hook you up with. Now I've got a new mascara. It's called Audacious Mascara. I've got some before and after photos for you on the blog, so I will send you in that direction. But it's basically a super, super, super pigmented formulation. It builds really quickly. It's super dark. This shade is called Black Moon. It's so black. It's incredible. Lengthening, defining, volumizing, everything. And it is very buildable as well. So you can kind of just keep going. You can reapply it during the day as well. That's the kind of main thing with it. And it's got this really lovely brush that kind of just does good things to your lashes. Like it, it defines them, but it all, almost kind of groups them into, so you've got a real dramatic lash look. You'll see in the photos if you take a look, but I'm really liking that. And it lasts really well all day. Pixie, there's a whole host of new skincare from Pixie, but, these are some favourites. There's a nourishing cleansing balm, which is just like mm, such a treat on the face. And this is the Glow Mud Cleanser, which I use this first. This actually, it's very, very nourishing and some and can actually leave a bit of like moisture. So if you don't like that, this is perfect for after it. And it's like a mud cleanser. So it looks like a mud mask and it kind of really, really, really gets your skin glowing. I mean, I use this and took it off with a muslin cloth, although the Pixie have launched like a bamboo cleansing cloth, which I haven't tried yet. Then I followed it with this, and then I followed it with the Glow Tonic, and literally my face was like going, I love you products, because literally, wow, that's bad, never mind. My face doesn't seem to cream, or does it? 
who knows anyway literally my skin just looks so good and i haven't had the best skin recently because i haven't really had a lot of personal reasons um have meant that i haven't had that much time to pamper myself recently but Yes, yeah, so these are really, really amazing. So yeah, I, I definitely recommend that you try out this. They're called the Skin Treats by Pixie. So loving, loving, loving. On my nails is from the new Dior Full 2015 collection called Cosmopolite. This nail polish is called Blackout. So, and it's really nice, lovely, glossy black, easy to paint. I really like the um, Dior polishes. These are gel effect ones, so easy to do. And I've got a post about the full Dior collection, so this is just one part of it. I did it a couple few weeks back, so I'm not showing you in this video, but you can check that post out for full, which is at, um, out now, the new Dior collection. Exciting. New, new, new excitement from Fabulous. I think I might be nearly as excited about these as I was about the wonder that is Curl Secret, which is the auto curler. You know I love all my hair stuff. I really do. And I love Fabulous. These curl pods, curl pods. So basically, these are the modern answer to heated rollers. On and off, it heats up. Inside here, you've got you've got these, which basically are little rollers that you pop in your hair and then clamp up, and that's all you do. Then you just wait. They, I literally, what I did was I just popped these in for about five to ten minutes before I did this video. And it's just giving my hair a really nice bend. If you leave them in longer, you can get serious curls from this. But you basically just, this is a cold one, so it's not going to do anything. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, Willis just looked at me really badly. Right, you just literally get it like this. Wrap it round. Wrap it round, wrap it round. Catch the end with the rest of your hair. So you don't get that hook ends, which no one loves. Roll it up just as high as you like. So I just did, I did mine quite low actually because I didn't want curled all the way to my root. And then you just close it and you're done. You get extras to put in. So as you take them out, you can replace the holes with more curl pods. So you've definitely got enough there to do a full for head of hair, even if you've got long hair like me. Oh, itchy nude. Yes, amazing. So I'm going to take that out. <coughs> Let me neck. Sorry. Anyway, I'm working on with Babyliss on a video for these, so that should be up for Christmas. But these are incredible. Love them. I think they're out very soon, September. Or maybe they're out already. I don't know. I'm going to find out for you and leave information below. But I love these curl pods. Fabulous curl pods. It's something to get excited about, definitely. Air Patrol by Benefit. So this little beauty is an absolutely brilliant eye primer. It's called Air Patrol. It's tinted, so it kind of uh, blanks out any uneven color it, colorage, <laughs> any discoloration on your eyelids. So if you've got vein, I've got I've got veins and whatever, and a really nice base for eyeshadow to cling to. So for extra long wearing, if you want your makeup to last really long, do this. Also, what I love about it, it's got SPF 20 in it and lots of skincare benefits, which I've listed on the blog, so I'm gonna to link to that post. Sorry, I'm always linking. And what's really good about this, and I was a bit skeptical at first, but it's actually completely and utterly correct. It's got like a memory foam applicator. So basically you don't have to use your fingers with this at all. You can blend with this. It's even lighter than your own fingers, finger touch, basically. So one click per lid, pop it on, and you just blend it out. And this does actually work, because I was like, you can't, you know all that you know when you get those eye creams that come with that kind of like cold applicator and you you're like you they can so you can massage it in with with that and you always end up put, doing using your finger well i do i thought it was gonna be like that but it's not this is absolutely brilliant for blending it into your eyelids it's perfect so that's great and yes i love air patrol i'm really liking it i've tried it now on under eyeshadow and it really worked kept everything really nice crease free eyelids looked enhanced so information on that is on the blog herborian the french japanese brand great combo they launched pink perfect like a, it's a primer to give you that glowy gorgeous like perfect doll like complexion which is really nice actually i've got the primer on today this is the pink perfect blush so it's illuminating it has skincare benefits in it and it basically gives you first you have give you like doll like radiant 
complexion just like tap it on tap it on I have already got this on today so I'm not going to overdo it yeah so it's re I really like that as well I've got a post on that and a little swatch so you can see what the color really comes out like I'm really liking that and I do love a little subtle blush especially if you're feeling tired this will really wake up your face pure minerals they call it I think they must have rebranded as pure but it's uh, pure minerals was what was pure minerals this is the SPF 50 cushion foundation it's called air perfection I love this little compact like that so it just works just like the you know the Kiko foundation I've written about before and the long comb CC cushion little cushion you use this it looks really dark but that's actually just the colour of the sponge and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and it feels lovely going on it's really nice it's got SPF 50 and you can put loads on and it doesn't go cakey so which is what you need if you're if you're using this as your SPF you want to put a lot on and this is a it's great it literally you can tap it in you can like swipe it on it's so easy to do you can build up coverage it's like a sheer to medium coverage depending on how you build it really nice it feels lovely on the skin I have been setting it with a little bit of powder in the t-zone because it is quite glowy as I'm combination I don't want it to get too shiny there so I've been setting it with the amazing cosmetics velvet mineral powder set which I've got a blog post on and I love because it doesn't take the glow of your product away it just takes away shine which is great so that's that and it also comes with a refill this color is the light there's three shades light medium and dark so we've already had a nail polish collection from Olivia Palermo of course and Ciate which I absolutely love but we've got two more polishes well, I don't know if there's more than two I've got two here I'm gonna find out for you so polishes oh my god what a gorgeous pink love all this packaging and what are you what are you oh very nice blue shade gorgeous lovely she's got taste that girl look and they put the color on the on the box which is nice love a bit of Olivia now they've also got makeup as well so I've got quite a few little lipsticks here cashmere truffle praline and velveteen oh I want to look at velveteen let's look at velveteen come out velveteen here we go really nice gold packaging nice quite a heavy feel oh yeah and it's got OP on it which if I was Olivia, I'd be pretty happy with that. I'd love my initials stamped into the bullet of a lipstick. So there you go. I haven't tried this yet and I don't want to swatch it yet because I want to put them on the blog and I want to make take nice pictures for my blog readers. But really nice. Let me just tell you about those things. That I'm not showing you swatches. These are called Satin Kiss Lipsticks. They're £19 each. Classic red velveteen. Pretty and pink with truffle. Nude is the cashmere and old burgundy praline. Yeah, they're re they're lovely. Really like those. They look, they look good packaging wise. And then the nail polish. How much is the nail polish? Oh yeah, it's just the two shades. So that kind of like burgundy rich, ready shade. And then the blue. New England Fall is the blue. This one is called Napa Valley. Mm, I love the names it uses. And they're really nice. And they're 17 pounds each. I think they're out there. There's also a, looks like they've got a blusher and bronzer duo as well. Really nice eye palette too. So that is exciting. Well done, Olivia. So yeah, that's good. Sorry again for going AWOL, basically. Do apologize for that. Uh, life kind of got in the way, but I'm back now. Um, thank you so much for staying with me. Really appreciate that. If you've got any questions, you can tweet me at really re or you can email me really re at gmail.com or leave a comment on any of the blog posts or even in the in the comment box. Comment box below, is that what it's called? In the comments here on YouTube. Okay, so thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Please do subscribe if you're new because I do do weekly beauty news videos which are very exciting. Well, I love them and do I? I enjoy doing them. Anyway, and do give it a thumbs up and, or share the video if you enjoyed it and I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.